Mac Jones is literally a prostitute. <laughs> Dude's a slave. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to 32 Mock Drafts in 32 Days, episode number 21. And today we've got a team that does not have a lot of assets, but you have to respect this team. See, the thing is, when picking for a team like the New England Patriots, who we are going to do our seven-round mock draft with the New England Patriots today, when picking for a team like New England, there's a process that goes into it. This team is very system-oriented. They're only going to draft guys that fit their system. Looking at their draft picks, I would assume Bill Belichick is probably going to trade down from round two to acquire more assets you're very unlikely they're gonna you know just pick five players in this draft so I'm guessing they'll trade down uh, that second round pick keep their first round pick probably uh, but we will end up seeing what we do now when it comes to their draft can I please load this how many pictures do I take when it comes to their draft they need a cornerback we know what happened with JC Jackson they said you know what we don't even want to franchise tag you for $17 million. We're just going to let you go. J.C. Jackson, their top cornerback, is gone. How about getting them an offensive tackle to help Mac Jones in that offense? Also a linebacker, although line, but you can sign a linebacker at, the, at this point. Defensive tackle and then a wide receiver. But I'll say the main positions I'm looking for, corner and also wide receiver. Those are the two main positions. Maybe we also get them a defensive tackle. Maybe Devontae Wyatt, some big beef. A big girthy guy. A big thick individual, maybe. But guys, let's enter this. And we may actually trade down from 21. This team needs picks. And I know Bill Belichick. I know he's a guy that wants more assets. He wants more picks. They barely have anything. We're going to go ahead and let this draft play out. And I did happen to actually see... A very tough pick. Trayvon Walker, bust. Total Charles Cross is another bust, but Trayvon Walker. Also, Trent McDuffie, that's tough. But here we have it. I can't even see. I got this big uh, microphone in the way. So, Devontae... You know what? Devontae Wyatt is such a Patriots player. So is Tyler Linderbaugh, but do you really want to... Like, you can see these guys. They're Patriot fit. They, these guys, no. There's a system. There's a system you have to, you know, adhere to... Wyatt would be a good pick. He's Yeah, he's ranked 17th. I agree with that. I agree with that. PFF moved Wyatt up. That makes sense. They moved Jordan Davis up. Guys, my questions with Jordan Davis, it's the motor. Him running a good 40 time, it shows he's explosive, but it still doesn't answer the question, what is his motor like? That's the main issue. When I look at this, Kamar Elam, he's a guy they might actually be able to get in the second round. He's been falling. We know that. As for receivers, Burks is another one. He, these, they're, they're listening to me. They're making Burks fall. I said he was a bust from the beginning. You know who would be a good fit? Daxton Hill. But is, isn't Daxton Hill more of a safety? You know what we're going to try and do right now? We're going to try and get some more assets because they just do not have any assets right now. It looks like... The Tennessee Titans want to trade, which is beautiful. We'll trade back to 26, still get Devontae Wyatt, and we'll get more assets. Let's do that. We want number 90. You know what? We want 128, and we want 139. This is not realistic, folks. It's No, this would... There's no way. Why would they trade up five spots, lose three other picks in the top 140, including the 90th pick? It's not realistic, but we're desperate. We need more picks. The PFF trade simulator... It's just never been accurate. It's unfortunate they're not, they're not able to, to make it accurate. And now we can still draft Devontae Wyatt. See how I did that, guys? See how good I am at doing these type of things? This is my 21st episode on this. It's getting scary how badly I'm able to manipulate this, and I'm feeling bad. It's almost like the AI is autistic. Like, I feel bad. It's like I'm facing an autistic kid in a game of chess or something. You got to feel bad for the AI. Once again, I gather three more good picks, and I can still draft Devontae Wyatt, get them a big interior defensive ta tackle. Girthy. Actually, Devontae Wyatt's a little undersized, but I love Devontae Wyatt. Let's take a look at the board. Look at all these edge rushers available. Wow. They really don't need an edge rusher. I don't think there is a guy, Abraham Lucas. You've got Kenneth Walker. Who is their running back? The New England, I'm seriously blanking on their running back. Let me just look this up really quickly. I do like me, Kenneth Walker, but I like Brees Hall better. Watch this. I'll literally look, look this up right now. Patriots RB. Let me take a quick, hold on, guys. Oh my God, they have Damian Harris. Well, Damian Harris, Stevenson. 
I mean, eh, I, they're for, they're forgettable guys. Damian Harris went to Alabama. Stevenson went to Oklahoma. I know who I'm talking about, but I do like Brees Hall. I like me some Brees Hall. I love Trey McBride, but they signed two tight ends, Hunter Henry and Janu Smith. Last offseason, I love signing tight ends. Trey McBride's a great value play. But for this team, they really don't need a tight end. Unfortunately, maybe you're looking at a guy like Abraham Lucas getting another pass rusher, Jalen Tolbert. We're going to look, you know who we're going to look for? We need to get another weapon for Mac Jones. They've got guys like Jacoby Myers. It's okay. We can definitely see the fit with Alec Pierce. David Bell is my guy. I love David Bell. Alec Pierce, the white boy, may be a replacement to Julian Edelman. They love the little white receivers. Yeah, that's a great fit. It is. The thing is, watch this. Watch what I'm about to do. I'm not looking to trade to 81, though. Okay, that's unfortunate. If we can trade back to, like, I'm guessing we can still get Alec Pierce at 63. I'll be honest, guys. This is unrealistic, but they do. I'm trying to get them more picks. We'll take 63.95. We want 133. Oh my God! This is a, they're gonna have to put a they're, they're gonna have to put this is like a rape right now. I'm doing on the AI. If I can get Alec Pierce, <laughs> right, I, I, I respect it. No, I respect it. I respect it. Yep, I respect it. The AI knew I was. Yep, I under, I'm sorry, AI. I'm sorry. Please accept my apology, guys. You know who's a weirdo kid? Mac Jones. Mac Jones has the personality of like. A freaking tree stump. Like, I was just thinking, Matt Jones has been coached by Nick Saban and then Bill Belichick. That dude is literally a slave. He's a slave. Matt Jones is a freaking slave. He's like, yes, sir, I'm a robot. I, like, how, you can't talk back to those guys at all. Brandon Smith. Oh, Brandon Smith is such. Wait, who? Oh, they need a linebacker. Yeah, I got to take Brandon Smith. He's such a page. This fits the system perfectly. This is a hardworking kid from Penn State. There's something about defensive players from Penn State. They're just, they're amazing. I don't know what it is. This Penn State program, James Franklin, they produce these guys. I wish Ohio State produced defensive players like Penn State. It's crazy. And there went David Bell. We need to get them. A, we need to get them a quarter, a, a, a receiver. Seriously, I'm starting to troll. No, we need to get them a good receiver. All the receivers are off the board now. Ugh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, we've got three picks upcoming. We've got three picks. They do need a. I, I should have picked David Bell. I seriously should have picked David Bell. I'm sorry. We can take Watson. I'm concerned because he's a bigger player. This guy is 6'5", but he runs really... You know what? This is a Patriots type player. North Dakota State. Try hard. Yep. Seems pretty good to me. We got to take him too because there's really no one left. Maybe they... Oh, Tyqu there's Tyquan Thornton. I love that they added Tyquan Thornton. He's a guy that should be going in round two or round three based off of his 40 time. This kid's absurd. Baylor, the way they run... It's crazy. I don't know what their program is like there. Wow, my Jay Sanders lasted that long. How about Calvin Austin going at pick 81? The problem with Calvin Austin, ooh, I like that pick. Indianapolis gets uh, Carson Strong. That's very nice. A little developmental year. Bring in Marcus Mariota for a year. Let Carson Strong develop. That arm in a dome. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, my goodness. So we're at pick number 90 now. It says they do need an edge rusher, too. The team needs are all over the place, really, but you can never have enough edge rushers. I will say that. That's one of the things. You can also never have enough centers. That's the other thing they say. But we will go and look for an edge rusher. There's D'Angelo. You know what? Sam Williams. Yes. Yes. That's a Patriot. The Patriot way. The Patriot way with Sam Williams. This kid had some crazy numbers. He's a freak. Oh, there goes Woolen. God, I love this kid. They, the AI is starting to troll me. They really are. It's all right. Maybe we take Max Mitchell here. Did I pick? Did I give them a cornerback? Oh my goodness. Who did we see? The thing is, we got D, Wyatt. I don't even think we took a corner. See, that was no. We they need a cornerback bad. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Yes, my guy. Thank God. Cam Taylor Brett. He's going to go in the first round, late in the first round. That's a bold prediction right now. How about Jeremy Rucker dropping late in round three? Very interesting. Honestly, I think if you opened it up right now, I think Bailey Zappi is better than Mac Jones. But Mac Jones is like the perfect Patriot quarterback. He's a slave. He's got the personality of a chalkboard, Mac Jones. He's a freaking slave. And he's like 
sucking Bill Belichick's cock. But you know what? Sterling Weatherford, that's enough. That would be a good. Micah McFadden is definitely a Patriots type player. This kid was actually a uh, juggers. He was actually a tight end in, in high school. I remember him as a recruit. Then I think he transitioned to being a guard. Braxton Jones, that's a high upside player right there. That is a high upside player. See, look, we've got a lot of, okay, we've got some nice picks now. We may have to take Bailey Zappi, but no, you don't want to disrupt the quarterback room. You don't want to, Mac Jones is their future quarterback. We understand that. I'll accept it. But since I do have a lot of picks, I can just go ahead and start taking team first guys like a Micah McFadden, try hard white guys that, yep, you got to pick them. Neil Farrell Jr. Oh, he moved the down, he moved down the board significantly. Zach Tom, high upside tackle. I've been drafting him a lot recently. You know, they probably need another corner. Tyreek, you can never have too many pass rushers. Um, how about these Miami of Ohio players? Two Miami of Ohio players. <laughs> you, you won't see that very often. No, but what was the one position they needed? You know what? I think they need a another receiver maybe. I like Boba. Yep, we're going to take Tyquan Thornton. You can, the speed kills, guys. Tyquan Thornton is going to be a third-round pick because he ran fast. And then this kid, I like the name. We'll take him. We'll take him as a... Oh, right. That was... How do I not see these kids? It's like they, the AI picks players I'm not even available to look at. That's why this thing is so stupid. It's so disorganized. We're trading up. We are trading up. We want 186. We'll give you one. Yeah, we'll do this. Yep. We just want to trade it. We want more picks. No, actually, that's less picks. I just lost the pick by doing this. Who should I take? JT. Wasn't this kid run really fast at the combine? These Baylor kids are crazy. They gave him growth amphetamines at Baylor. There's no way these kids. Ty Chandler. I really don't like their running back situation in New England. But is Ty Chandler really an upgrade? Is he really? Brace Hall would be an upgrade. But again, with running backs, it's so tough. What are they worth? Are you going to spend a second or third round pick on a running back? I like Kennedy Brooks. Kennedy Brooks has got to be undersized, though, just looking at him. I don't know. Who should we pick with our last pick? It's got to be a Patriots fit. J, nah, JT Woods wouldn't. Percy Butler, I believe, ran very well. I wonder if they have their combine numbers. That would be nice. That would actually require PFF to put in a little bit of effort. So they're not going to have that. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. Um, but seriously, this kid seems to have been falling a little bit. But yeah, Grant Calcaterra, that kid went to Oklahoma and then he transferred. This kid, Woods, very good combine, very impressive player. They just don't need that. Calvin Austin Jr. What round is it right now? Round six. Okay, so we actually got to make a legit... Can we make a pick here? We're on the clock. The time is running out. Roger Goodell is going to suspend me. I got to pick someone. Seriously, Pat, just make a pick. <laughs> just just pick someone. Just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Jack Jones. Yes, yes. I'm going to take... Jack Jones, I think... If I'm not mistaken, this kid was a five-star player. He went to USC and then transferred to Arizona State, and he looked really good at the combine. Guys, I'll be honest. When I watch the combine, I think everyone looks good. I I'm just going to be honest. Like When I watch a player, I'm like, wow. Like I get aroused when I see these guys at the combine. So like when I say a player looked good at the combine, it's probably just me. Like When I see players run and stuff, I'm like, wow, he's fast. I overreact to everything. So when I say someone looks good at the combine, take it with a grain of salt. You know, it is what it is. Taking a look at this draft, these grades are just really... This kid ran a 4-1-1. You're going to grade that an F? They got to stop grading this stuff. No, but he didn't run. He did not run a 4-1-1. He ran a 4-2-8 official. The unofficial was 4-2-2. But he looked fat. I thought he, from the naked eye, I thought Thornton ran like a 419, honestly. I think Jamison Williams would have ran. Jamison Williams would be interesting on the Patriots. Get them a speed receiver. They do need a receiver. But we get them Devontae Wyatt. You make the trade. You got to get more assets. I really think Bill Belichick is going to trade back due to the Patriots only having like six draft picks as we speak right now. I think Belichick will trade back in the first round or in the second round. You got to get more assets than five or six players total. You got to have a bigger draft haul. So you get Devontae Wyatt. That's a Patriots type player. And then we had to trade back again. Brandon Smith, really 
<laughs> See, now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna contradict myself. He did do very well at the combine. It's not just because I'm saying it. He actually did do well. Watson, I was kind of in a tough spot. I would love the Patriots to get David Bell in the second round. David Bell is my number 13th overall player, but there were no receivers left, so I had to get Watson. Sam Williams, he did... I, I gotta stop talking about the combine. I just, we're just at Cam Taylor Brett, he did work very well. I mean, Cam Taylor Brett seriously did have a really good combine. Micah McFenn, he's one of those white guys who will probably play for the Patriots for nine years. Uh, Zach Tom is kind of a high upside tackle. Thornton is just pure speed, although I don't think he's a Patriot fit. No, I you see the thing is with PFF, I actually have to agree with this grade. Thornton is not a fit on the Patriots. I would like to see a Thornton on the Browns though with his, well actually they've already got Anthony Schwartz, basically the same thing. But guys, you can just see the overall draft. It is what it is. This team needs a lot. Uh, they do need a lot it feels like. I would say making that high investment on a linebacker Probably not the best strategy. There were receivers available. Alec Pierce. I was. I, I don't think Alec Pierce. No, the Bengals took Alec Pierce when they traded up because the AI heard me. Alec Pierce wasn't. But like um, David Bell was available. Maybe taking a, a, a linebacker that high. Not great. They gave it a B plus. Their grades are stupid. And then there's other positions maybe. But it is what it is, guys. That's going to do it for this mock draft. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Like that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.